What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We got some big things going on with Tesla, especially some brand new leaks, rumors, and also news about the Tesla insurance program, which is one of the biggest things about Tesla, which I will get into why the insurance program is such a big deal. I know insurance is probably the most boring thing to hear about. It's just not fun. I'd rather talk about cars. I'd rather talk about a Tesla Semi, my favorite vehicle. But insurance apparently makes a bunch of money. There's whole insurance companies on the stock market where they do phenomenal. And insurance is a really big part of Warren Buffett's portfolio of stocks. So insurance is big. And with Tesla could dominate the insurance program, they can make a lot of money. Now, traditionally, car companies only make cars. Like Tesla is like the odd dog in the room where not only do they just make cars, but they also make software for the cars and then battery storage and then solar panels and then these mega packs for different countries. Like it's pretty weird. It's like if you're a car company, you're supposed to only make cars. But Tesla essentially broke out of the norm because they feel like if this thing makes money, I'm gonna do it. I don't care if I'm a car company. If item X makes me a load of cash, I will pursue that and I will invest money in that. This is why Tesla is such a fun company. This is why a bunch of people like the car. And this is why the orders are going off the charts. And insurance is one of the most profitable things in the world. And since all cars are required to have insurance and Tesla sales going up, there's a lot of insurance companies that give Tesla vehicles a very high insurance price very high to the point that people get really frustrated because tesla vehicles are technically luxury vehicles and luxury vehicles have a higher insurance that's just how it goes but tesla is about to launch its in-house insurance program to more states in 2019 tesla launched its own insurance program it started availability in california which is where the car maker is from and the automaker claims up to 30 percent cheaper premiums in the competition i mean that's better than geico insurance and so far, Tesla's second entry in the insurance industry is going to be big because this is going to be called Insure My Tesla Program. And it will be in partnership with third party insurers. Before you guys freak out thinking third party not good, keep in mind that this new program is directly brokered by Tesla through state national insurance. But here's the catch. The automaker Tesla will be way more involved in the entire process than you think they are. It's not like they're gonna sit back and relax and not do anything, but they will be super involved in the whole entire process, basically becoming an insurer themselves. And here's the great thing about Teslas. They are luxury vehicles. They have a lot of different features that are very unique to themselves compared to other vehicles. And since you got this really big uniqueness, Obviously, you want to have the car manufacturer giving out the insurance to your vehicle. I mean, I kind of wish that if Mercedes-Benz makes a bunch of these electric vehicles, they would have their own insurance program, perhaps a little bit cheaper than the competition. I mean, this is a big disruptor. I said before that disrupting technology is really big. And with this Tesla insurance going on that's a lot cheaper and just fully digitalized, it's super easy to do things. It's always the plan to expand Tesla insurance to more states, and they finally are. But it has proven more difficult than ever before since you got to navigate a ton of different loops and also regulatory environments and there's several different markets tesla cfo has said that they're trying to expand to other states but it's harder than you think it is most people think that insurance is a super easy business if you want to expand you just simply expand it but right now we should be seeing tesla insurance finally offering this amazing auto insurance in california but also in illinois texas and Washington. And they are seeking permission from state officials. Tesla plans to use a lot of their features in the cars, like the driver assist features and stuff like that, and provide different insurance products. And it's a lot accurate because if you go to other insurance companies out there, it's not as accurate. They don't really know your vehicle as well as the Tesla company does. So usually you get a much higher insurance rate than if you just go to Tesla. I mean, if you have a Tesla like a Model 3, Model X, Model S, just get the Tesla insurance. I'm on Reddit, I'm on Twitter. Everyone says it's a lot cheaper. Some people are saving between 15 to 25%, which is honestly pretty good. And it's just as great as other insurance programs. In California specifically, a ton of customers have already said that they're paying less with Tesla insurance. And Elon Musk himself is extremely bullish on the product as well. And this is something that Kathy Wood from ARK Invest, one of the biggest investors in Tesla doesn't address. She would address a lot of things in the autopilot department. But Musk is now addressing a lot about the driver's insurance. 
And we never really heard much about the driver's insurance until recently, especially these few days. Now, Musk is saying that this is big and somebody will be using this insurance and there's already a lot of people saying it's great. It's gonna cost less, it's gonna be better. So why wouldn't you choose it if you're buying a Tesla? And that's exactly the reason. And Musk also estimates that Tesla insurance could be reaching a valuation that represents roughly 30 to 40% of Tesla's car business. Tesla car business is at a growing exponential rate. I mean, Musk wants to be hitting like 20 million cars a year in the next half a decade. And if you're telling me that Tesla insurance will represent almost half of Tesla's car business, then Tesla insurance is obviously gonna be a big money maker. I said this before that everyone is making electric vehicles, so Tesla making electric vehicles is not special at all. But now Tesla is doing insurance, autopilot, mega packs, battery production, solar production, it makes them a super unique company. And Tesla insurance, it most likely will not only cater to Tesla vehicles, but maybe even cater to other car companies. In the next few years, when the insurance program expands to other states, by that time, already the majority of individuals who like electric vehicles already gotten a Tesla. And just insuring insurance to Tesla owners already makes Tesla a ton of money. Maybe Tesla could actually get this insurance program to other individuals. Like let's say Timmy over there has a Porsche Taycan or that guy over there has a brand new Ford Mach-E. These are electric vehicles as well, maybe even some gasoline powered vehicles as well. They can expand this insurance business. They could make a lot of money. But keep in mind that one big thing holding them back is a lot of the state approval process. A lot of things are pending. It takes a very long time for a lot of these things to be approved. And it's very labor intensive. It takes a lot of time. You gotta send personnel running around the country. It's honestly pretty difficult. And there's already a lot of filings in California that shows that Tesla is already working on an offering for autonomous driving insurance. Now we know that autopilot will be a really big deal. You have several other car companies like Lucid Motors coming off their own autopilot system. You got Ford, Mercedes, and even Uber or Lyft testing a lot of autopilot features. So we could be seeing Tesla rolling out an autonomous vehicle insurance for specifically that apartment and also rolling out a regular car insurance for other companies as well. I mean, the sky's the limit here. I think the potential for insurance is really big and just wrap our mind around it. This is probably Tesla's best weapon to really make the most amount of money. And once again, there's already a bunch of filings in Cali that show that they are working on offering an autonomous vehicle insurance that has never been done before and something that's desperately needed. That's why it guys, thanks for watching, comment below, definitely subscribe for more Tesla videos. We have a ton of more leaks coming in, a lot of news about Gigafactory stuff, autopilot, the vehicles, the Model S refresh 2021 version, really amazing stuff. Like Tesla does have a lot of different products coming in, so we have a lot more stuff about the software, the hardware, the machinery, it's pretty awesome.